What's going on, everybody? LK here, and today, a little more Guilty Gear. So, uh, we're here against Lord Axel. This is Remy Celeste. You may know him as the second place at CEO 2021, pretty big offline event that I was at. Uh, and he's playing Axel, like I said. And we're going to kind of revisit, but from a different angle, uh, the pace of a match and uh, moving fast and moving slow. But we're going to be doing it from a different perspective. So, last time it was against a RAM player. Uh, just someone in the tower who was just max speed, like Sonic the Hedgehog energy. Where Remy, you know, Remy's playing Axel. Axel is his owner. Uh, pretty interesting character in that he has some pretty polarizing matchups. So he struggles against fast characters like Milia and Chip. But he's really good against slow characters, heavy characters, uh, etc. So we're going to be looking more about dash blocking and patiently picking your spots to approach. Uh, and it's going to be at both perspectives too so not just what i'm doing so uh, or what they're doing but both so again last time it was mostly a thing of like the other person was ODing, like playing really fast this time i'm going to be examining more um how i approach and push versus how he changes and like how you can make it hard for an opponent to like deal with this and how you can approach these type of characters safely so the place we generally start with is axel you dash block. So why do you dash block? You see me use it quite a bit, mixing, dashing, dash jumping, and sometimes I'll just pull up aggressively. So the obvious thing is you're just trying to get close. You know, people talk about, oh, I can't get in, I can't get in. But the other thing too is, and the more subtle thing is when you move like this, you get to see how the person who's playing defensively acts. Axel is a defensive, a defensive character in general, excuse me. So being able to understand how the Axel player is thinking where they're looking, like quite literally where they're looking. What I mean is where are they placing attacks? In the case of Axel, you'll see, sometimes you'll see things like, okay, he had a read on me with the air throw, but sometimes he will do some more committal actions and other times he'll do some less committal actions. So what do I mean? Low commit would be things like using 5k, 2k, Ren 10 when I'm full screen, doing a jump back or instant air dash back. The big commits and like the main ones we're trying to point out are ID back JS, immediate JS, 2H, and like far slash. Those are probably like the main, main, main things. So we got to work our way through. Now, in order to get him to use those moves, I have to go there so that he thinks, oh, I have to do this. In that spot, you walk up there and you sit there and you're like, all right, is he looking for this or not? If you go to that spot and he doesn't press a button, that means he's literally not looking for it, not looking for you to go there. If he presses a button faster, you go, oh, okay, he was looking for me to go there. I got to remember that. The match will be determined by whether you can get to those spots without taking any damage slash not a lot of damage and then what do you do to get in after that and then how far you can push your turn this is why he doesn't do well against fast characters like one of the main reasons why is not just a life total like i, I deleted him with milia right that was like really fast so it's not just a life total it's the fact that milia and by extension chip geo like characters like that can push this type of situation right there where i dash blocked dash blocked i could push the situation many more times in a round than a character like potemkin or leo or gold lewis these characters can't get to these spots very easily or quickly where the fast characters can so we return to the last round here because it actually happens pretty quick after i get my quick little lead here uh, he's gonna burst me off and put me in the corner pretty common situation Amelia, right now immediately I pull up, so on my side I do a dash block, and he does 2H, a relatively preemptive 2H. So one, I use FD so I can stop instantly. You don't have to do this. This is a habit from old Guilty Gear games. If you want to try ACR or Exit, for example, you will have to learn how to do this because you can get hit out of your uh, run recovery, but in this game it's only two frames, so it's unlikely. So I see immediately that he does this. I get pushed back a little bit, but you have to remember this move 2H is double digit minus. Like it's quite by on block. Even though he has special cancel options, they're not too scary and he doesn't have a lot of muter. So we push one more time. But with this push, I continue to travel because he hasn't stopped me. And then we, we stop here. 
Now we push it again. So I have pressed him three times in about like two seconds. He tries to protect, realizes he can't do anything, pulls off. I peel back. I push again. Wow, fourth time. Two seconds have passed in uh, real time. He's trying to press. I push again. Finally getting to a spot where I can uh, do something fast enough that he can't really react to. And he would have to like press early preempt, which means he can get hit by a bunch of stuff if I read him. And again, it is Milia. So if she hits him, it's going to be knocked down. His burst will probably come in play, but not for a, a little while. Unfortunately, your boy got a little unlucky here. I got the unlucky sweep. But then with one more press and he was in the air. Now I get a combo into a crumb of mix up. And I get to be Milia. And from here, basically, the round is on its way to ending. And I got to do this multiple times. You don't realize it because it's happening so fast. But the rounds were basically decided like that. So now that we got the technical aspect out the way, I want to talk about playing fast and playing slow once again. Kind of just follow up the last video that I did. So when you're pressing like that all the time, uh, even though it looks like you're moving quickly, you aren't doing anything. And the intent is to see what your opponent is doing. And in the case of them playing a defensive character like Axel, you want them to feel pressure to do something and generally move back. Uh, for defensive characters, the more screen space they have, the better. So it actually leads me to wanting to revisit a quick second of this match. If we're talking about the screen as social currency a little bit, maybe social currency is not the right word, but at least like some type of currency, some type of advantage. Uh, getting your defensive opponent to move back might be annoying initially, but the less space they have to the corner, the less they can do it. And when you press them like this over and over, especially when you're doing it at a fast pace, it makes it hard for them. And they start thinking, oh, I have to switch sides. This is something that Remy does that's uh, honestly really amazing. This is like the side that you know he's a really, really, really strong Axel player. So I'm trying to press here a little bit. So I pull up and take the space I earned. And here, when I peel off a little bit, he tries to get under me. He recognizes, and rather than going over, a normal player will try to get over you. He tries to go under me to get the screen space back which takes some awareness. It's very, very situational, this thing, so it's not easy to do. How I'm going to play speed-wise is going to be mostly affected also not by just what we're seeing with the dash blocks that you see me continually trying to do. Make sure you pay attention to me dashing and blocking, dash block jumping, things like that, but also about the life totals as well, resources, and what I think will happen depending on uh, how I get hit, okay? So for the most part, I'm going to be pulling up pretty fast. My general thing is like I like using a lot of dash blocks until moments like this where I have such a big life lead that the defensive character has to pull up. So here, we don't have to do that press, 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 press thing. At this point, I'm mostly waiting for him to mess up and so I can get like one stray. Milia is not that good at making plays in this game in general. And Axel, you know, with no pin... I could still get tagged a lot pretty randomly. So I'd rather play slow and have all the threat of these resources just waiting for him to overextend one time than push, 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 get hit by accident and take a big hit from him. Then on that round was uh, pretty long where here you'll see me switch it up. We're at the beginning of the round again. So I'll try to scramble, dash block, dash block jump, move into spots with confidence so I can go into my offense as you see here. Now I'm going to run it decent lead i know i know uh the levers are above there but i have a decent lead here he's gonna push this a little bit he's in the corner trying to use axel's unique offense we take the throw do a crumb of mix up he's kind of familiar with million stuff now and here we're going to be back at the exact same idea i had before i have a life lead so i'm going to slow it down even in spots where it looks like million is moving fast doesn't mean i am physically inputting things fast my character is just fast Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So again, the idea is pacing, speed, but uh, switching the uh, how fast you want to move depending on what's happening. And mainly, if you don't get anything else from this video, it's why you dash block more than just doing dash block. Just doing it, just someone telling you to do it is very nice, but uh, the implications of what it means and uh, how you should be thinking during these times is hopefully what you got from this video. I think Axel, again, is the best character to show this. As usual, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.